For many entrepreneurs, the number one issue they face in business is cash flow. Well, the Bahraini chapter of the Entrepreneurs' Organization is in tune with its membership and organized a learning event with speaker Greg Crabtree. He highlights the most common financial mistakes made by small businesses and how to avoid them. Teaching entrepreneurs how to build successful businesses by seeing beyond numbers with a step-by-step -step guide to increasing your business's profitability. Uh, tonight, my, my talk is based on uh, the book I wrote, Simple Numbers, Straight Talk, Big Profits, which essentially you know, covers four key themes for entrepreneurs. The first theme is you've got to eliminate the distortions in your data, typically caused by owner compensation not being recorded correctly. So I want that owner to put the correct wage into their data for what they do and separate in their mind the separate uh, thing. Um, you get paid a salary for what you do, get a return on what you own because that creates one of the biggest distortions in true net income being shown on your financials. The second piece is, is getting you to understand that you need to have a profit target. What is that profit target? You know, typically, we say that at 5% uh, profit, you're on life support, 10% you're a good business, 15% you're a great business, and anything above that, take it while you can get it. Um, the third piece, though, is, well, that's all well and good to get profitable. How do you get there? Well, the key is labor productivity. And that's really our signature uh, piece of, of differentiation and, and how to get businesses profitable is to help them understand how to look at labor productivity. And for every dollar of labor that you spend, what is the multiple that you get off of it? And we make a separate distinction between direct labor versus management labor. So really for the first time, we've created a way for people to look at the effectiveness of their management team as well as their direct labor producers. And then the fourth piece is once you're profitable, what do you do with the cash? And, and so we have four forces of cash flow that you know, have, the things have to go in this order, which is first you have to deal with taxes if, if, if they're present. Secondly, after taxes, you got to deal with debt and get out of debt, own the things that you, you do in your business. The third piece is built to a core capital target, which we believe is two months of operating expenses in cash with nothing drawn on a line of credit. That is the, the definition of a fully capitalized business for our minds. And then the last piece is then you get to make profit distributions and pay dividends to the owners because that is the ultimate goal is to have a business that gives you a return on what you invested. Actually it was uh, very interesting because it looks at accounting from a completely different uh, perspective. It, it simplifies it and uh, gives it a deeper meaning. For me I was looking for certain indicators and uh, which are very important for uh, business to, to monitor uh, growth, to monitor uh, profitability. And uh, I learned a lot from this event today. A lot of it was um, great because it felt like we, he was talking directly to, to us business owners, entrepreneurs. Um, we can definitely relate um, and learn uh, from a lot that was said. Today was a great example of a learning event being very practical and really digging down to the numbers and things we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, it was uh, an eye-opener, definitely. What I learned tonight is just basically uh, it, it, the buck stops with you. You have to really be, uh, you have to look into the, into the facts and, and make it your guiding principle. That's why I brought my, my um, general manager with me tonight as well so we can have a debate tomorrow morning about it. If you go look at the Amazon reviews on, on, on the Amazon book site for my book, you'll find kind of the general response is people say, wow, where has this been all my life? You know, and, and it's like, it's an amazingly simple concept that my profession of accounting has made way too hard. And, and so most of the people say, I really wish I'd known this 15 years ago. Or, you know, and, and so it's created a, a, what we refer to in the book as you know, some 15 year overnight successes of businesses that they just needed this one little pearl of wisdom that got them over the hump.